Hello from within the Arctic Circle and the Midnight Sun. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. Morning. Oh, it's brightening up a little bit, but the mountains are covered with cloud. And I'm wondering if that's a problem for my potential mountain climbing. Well, I'm going to start the day with some breakfast. And then work out what happens next. One of the lessons of van life that I wanted to learn about was learning to let go of my tendency to over plan. If you're planning an itinerary, it does make sense sometimes to check out your budget, where you're going to go and see if you can fit everything together. But with being on the road full time, that changes my perspective a little bit. And I thought it would be something which would be healthy for me. What happens if you do change it up? What happens if you go with the flow? And today is one of those days. My end goal in the Lofoten Islands is to pick up a ferry back to Bodø on the mainland of Norway. I can't seem to find a ticket for that because it's booked out at the moment. So I'm going to have to sit at the ferry port. And I have two things that I want to do. I want to visit a town called Henningsver, which I'm told is very beautiful. It's about an hour and a half from here and we're going to leave shortly and go do that. And I want to climb the mountain at Reina. I understand it's called Reinebringen. It's all a bit vague where you park and how you get there, but I'm taking a deep breath and just going with it. It might take me one day and I leave tonight. It might take me two nights or three nights. It depends on whether those clouds lift from the mountains because I want to get some nice photography. So here's today's lesson in not sweating the small stuff. <laughs> Norway is really good at having places for you to pull in near photogenic pieces of nature. I am appreciating this view. There weren't a lot of cafes and this one seemed busy, so it seemed like rather a good idea. I have to say, I thought I'd be able to get something with fish here. The Lofoten Islands are, after all, noted for their fish, particularly cod, but there was nothing on the menu. And since I was craving pizza earlier today, I'm having a very expensive pizza. 
It's so hot. Really good. Mm. This is the bit where you might think that I'm a little bit crazy. I've shown up to a place called Reinebringen. If you've been to the Lofoten Islands here in Norway, you'll know that Reinebringen is a mountain and I'm about to climb it, or at least try to. That is the mountain. On the way down here in the motorhome, I started to think about some sensible questions. Have I prepared? <coughs> not really. I've been walking a bit more recently, but not doing much in the way of hill climbing. I started to think about how far up it was. My strategy for this is to take it at my own pace, to stop when I need to stop and try my best. If I can't make it to the top, that's okay. I'm starting out today to try. And that's what I'm trying to climb. Okay, this is quite hard going. I'm about 250 steps in, and I thought it might be wise to take 30 seconds of recovery and then do another 250. I was convinced a couple of hundred steps ago that I was done, and I might be, but I kept going another couple of hundred. I'm gonna do 100 more. This time, it's bye-bye. I've made it about three quarters of the way, but I started to feel lightheaded. I'm gonna notch that down. It's a great experience. And next time, be fitter when I try to climb a mountain. Lesson learned. I'm not gonna say that I'm not disappointed about not reaching the top of the mountain, but one thing is true that I didn't get to the age that I am without knowing something about how my body feels. As much as it's good to push towards fitness and that's something I'm trying to do, there's no point in making yourself ill in the process. I've got a two kilometer hike back downhill to the harbor. I wanted to be fit for that. I'm going to try and queue for the ferry to get back to the mainland. That may not happen tonight, so I could be awake for the next few hours. Okay. I've arrived at the ferry port. It was only three or four kilometers away from Reinebringen. I've gotten out and I've had a bit of a look and got chatting to somebody. But before I fill you in on where we're at, I'm gonna have a little bit of this pizza left over from lunch. Now that I've had a cold pizza snack, I'm feeling slightly more human. Well, human as I can ever feel. So whenever I arrived, I pulled into a random lane one that was half full, thinking that was sensible. Came down and there's nobody to talk to. There often isn't at a ferry stop in Norway. People appear only five minutes or 10 minutes before the boat is scheduled to leave. And that's to take the payment of the next people in line. Norway does a very dramatic line in public toilets and waiting areas. This one is no exception. Oh, that's hot. Really, really hot. It's a loo with a view, outside, not in here, happily. Well, 
we're sailing into lots of rain and away from the Lofoten Islands here in northwestern Norway. What a fantastic experience it was to visit Senja and Lofoten. If you ever wonder what it looked like to see the midnight sun, this is it. It's midnight in Norway. And so we're arriving into the city of Bodo on the mainland of Norway after a three and a half hour ferry journey from the Lofoten Islands. There's even a little bit of rainbow above the buildings to welcome us back. I had no idea it was this big. Thanks so much for being here for this episode of Planet Patrick from here in Norway. If you haven't already, please do, oh. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And you can follow live stories at This Is Planet Patrick. I'd appreciate your support over on Patreon. But until the next episode, take care. Bye-bye.